Hey guys, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I said that intro, but I think the last time that we had a video here in the channel, you guys saw Yaya Marlin and Yaya Jera being interviewed, and I was not there during the interview proper because I knew that if I stayed there, they wouldn't answer. They just keep laughing and hitting me and smiling. So I decided to not be there, and now this is the first time I'm actually gonna be hearing all of their answers. We're gonna be reacting to my Yaya Q&A, and I'm so, so excited to be honest. I really have no idea because they don't tell me anything personal or emotional or parang, they don't say like, Ma'am, you know, you're such a bad person. Like, they, they don't tell me, you know. It's just a very friendly environment here at home. So, let's see. I'm really, really curious what they have to say. Okay, let's begin. So guys, here we are finally ang atong video. Masaya ta karon ta kasabot si Ate Girls. <laughs> ang inyong pinaka requested na video. Wait, okay, we just started, but it's so funny because they're seated so far away from me. I think it's because there's a camera in front of them because usually like they're literally just beside me in the kitchen where you know I might have my arm around them like normal, pero here they're so awkward. You can tell from their body language they're like trying to be so small. It's so cute. Today, we're going to be doing a Yaya Q&A. So this is Yaya Jera. You guys all see her in my post. She's the one who has been here since Scotty was just a newborn. And she has been taking care of Scotty ever since. And this is Yaya Marlin, who's come here, I think, even before Yaya Jera. Before ba si Marlin? Ah, uh, ka no? After Yaya Jera. So Yaya Marlin is the one who does the cleaning around the house or laundry. <laughs> Wait, look at Yaya Jera's smile. She's like... Like, <laughs> she's so awkward, I love it. Honestly, at first, I wanted to interview both Yaya Jara and Yaya Doreen because I know that you guys are very curious about Scotty's Yayas. But, syempre, somebody has to be taking care of Scotty, so I figure maybe you guys would be more interested with Yaya Jara since she was here first and since I think you guys see her more on the vlogs. Um, and I asked her first, like, Jer, okay, ni mo nga mo, gawas ka sa akong video, okay. The kang ki curious gyun, like, and hangi sa mga tana questions ni mo, anana, yung mga uwa mong kumamoy, <laughs> si Jer. <laughs> and um, eventually, I just kept saying, sige na, Jer, ganahan kay sila, curious kin kay sila. And eventually, she said, sige, sige, okay, ra, okay, ra. as long as nana siya kuyug. So, yung kuyug is Yaya Marlin. And you can see how awkward they both are here. Like, I just can't get over it. It's so funny because every day they're not like this. You know how it's like first time was a vlog or first time in front of a camera. You're really like, you don't know what to expect. You don't understand why this person is talking to a camera. I feel like this is what's happening here. I was in the hospital. I insulted my friend, my teacher, my tutor. I was a teacher, I was a child, I was a child, I was a child, I was a child, I was a newborn. Willing ko din. Ito nga time kay sa hospital pa ako nag-work. Pag hapit na June, na pandemic naman to, so nikuhan ko ni mom nga, hello mom ka nang, basta hindi ko ka, kalapos kay kuan lockdown. So, ipangitaan ko lang paagi niya. Kapilan ako ni Balibad nga, hello mom ka nang, <laughs> kuan ka nang, di utugtan. Kay, una, balaka po lagi akong family na ako. Kay Cebu, kay grabe ato nga, kuan, daghan kay ito nga kay. So, naluoy man ko, kay sige siya kangyo, kay maglisod na daw siya pangita. So, akong gibuat is, ni go na lang jud ko. So, it's true, Yaya Jera, I found her when I was pregnant pa. I wanted to look for a Yaya, like, way before I gave birth, just in case something bad happened. We had a few months pa to find a good Nani, your caregiver or uh, midwife, Yaya Jera, is studying midwifery now and she was about to take the boards but she wasn't able to during the pandemic. So what impressed me with her is that she actually went to Cebu to meet us before we hired her. So I'm like, okay, this girl's serious and she came all the way here at her own expense, which is like really cool, right? We met in Ayala pa at the time. We had coffee. My mom was there. She mentioned Mom Irene, that's my mom, and Mom Diane, that's my sister. So I'm really, really happy that we went above and beyond to really get her here from Negros during that ECQ period. That was June, I think. We really like did everything we could to get her here and I feel like it was super worth it because she's such a blessing in our lives right now. She truly is. Uh, 28 years ako doon. Tapos nung nag-pandemic, decide ako na uwi ako si Bo. Tapos September last year, ni uli ko dire. Akong sister, Kuan siya na as ay friend na kauban po niya na naailam mam dayan sa sister ni Mam Chris niya. Nagtext siya sa akong manghod nga gusto ba daw na mo musulod o work niya. Niingon niya 
Oh, sige, okay. Both Yaya Jera and Yaya Marlin are with me because of my sister. My sister Diane, she has five kids. So she's so used to always looking for Yayas, looking for helpers and stuff like that. And I'm very, very thankful to her because she really taught me a lot about household, how to maintain it, doing groceries even. My sister helped me find Yaya Jera and Yaya Marlin because they truly are a blessing in my life. Yaya Marlin, she used to work as a tindera in Manila. She mentioned that she was there for 28 years, but because of the pandemic, Shempre, all of the stores closed there. So, parang kanap siya ng work, and she came to Cebu to, I guess, rest because her family's here. And timing lang na parang mag offer ng sister ko ng job, and she was able to come work for us. And I really, really love the way she works. There was a story nga na, I think Slater posted it on his Instagram na he was reviewing this vacuum, and we had to change our vacuum because Yaya Marlin is the one who vacuums our rooms. And the vacuum that we had is like, industrial type. It's so big. It's so clunky and there's so many wires. And it, Maya Marlin, I guess she's not used to housework because she always breaks stuff around the house. Like always like our coffee machine, she broke it. Our light, our hanging light fixture in our room beside my bed, she broke it. Nasira the new marble table. And then our Hermes plate that was given to us by Achi Pinky for our wedding, nasira din because of the vacuum, parang yung wire. When she pulled the vacuum, nahulog yung table, nahulog yung plate. A lot of people were telling Slater na parang kawawa naman siya. Nabasag niya yung plate, parang they automatically assumed na Slater and I punished her or anything, but never. Oh my God, we love Yaya Marlin. And I, I, we understand that the reason why she keeps breaking stuff is because she's the one that's interacting with these things all the time. Like for every day I have to wipe this vase, I'm the one who's gonna break it. It's not gonna be like Slater who never touches this vase. You know, we understand that. And it's obviously an accident, but it's funny lang how people always assume na parang, I don't know if people do. Do other amos ba like super get mad at help? I, I really I really don't know. But anyway, that's Yaya Marlin. And even though like <laughs> she has we call her mabigat yung kamay niya. To be honest, mabigat talaga. But we still really really love her, and I even make fun of her for it. Like it's fun. Don't worry, we didn't make her pay. We never make her pay, and we still love her, and she's still with us. And I asked her like she wants to go home because next month to visit her family. Oh, sabi ko babalik ka pa ba? Sabi niya babalik mom, promise. So. That's a good sign. We love Yaya Marlin here. <laughs> Pag sojo na ko dari kay three days pa si Scott, mga one year kapina. Ako, mga ano, mga one year pa lang. Karong October, one year na ko dari. It's true, when Yaya Jera came, Scott was just three days old, but we had to quarantine her. And at, I think at that time, it was still June, so COVID was super new. It was the peak of the pandemic, the first wave. And swab tests weren't super accurate yet. I think her first result came out suspicious, same as me. So we had to swab her again. And then after we swabbed her, we had to quarantine her again. Like it was, the systems weren't in place yet. We didn't exactly know like how long we had to quarantine her, how accurate the swab tests were and everything. So I remember it was a whole fiasco. Yaya yeah, Marlin joined us in October and I think at that time we only had one household help and so it was such a blessing that Yaya yeah, yeah, Marlin came at that time because we were really struggling like October Scott was July, August, September, October Scott was only four months old and we were really at our wit's end already at that point because Yaya yeah, yeah, Jera was taking the night shift and I was doing the day shift. Shampress later had work. And so I was doing all the cleaning, the cooking, the lahat. I was doing it. And so when Yaya Marlin came at around October, parang she really took a load off my shoulders. I, I could stop worrying about the cleanliness of the house, like washing the dishes, and I could spend my time more with Scott. And it was really, really great for us. Dili mo ma feel bitaw nga may dra ka unsa ka kanang murag ka level ra ka kanang murag wala ra normal ra family parang oh oh ana when we have new people join us in our family here we always have a meeting so it's either a group meeting or just a solo meeting if bago siya and now we have six people who live with us here in the house so, so total nine na kami dito sa bahay and we always tell them now we obviously this is gonna be your home too because you're gonna live here with us it's not stay out and so no matter what we want you to be comfortable living here too because it's gonna be your house you're gonna spend more time here than your actual house where you live so let us know if there's anything we're doing that you don't like or like if it's the way we're talking to you that you're not comfortable with like let us know any of your concerns so we can work it out because like obviously I wouldn't want to work in a place that's not like a good young culture, you know what I mean? Like I, let's say I have a dream job working for, let's say, a makeup brand. And then when I'm there, everyone's like a hater. I'm super nega yung environment. Maging hater din ako. So I always want them to be comfortable and to have a positive working environment. And it really means so much to me that they think I'm cool. <laughs> it's later school too. 
<laughs> They've never told me that, guys. Never. They've never said na cool kami. So, I'm very happy. <laughs> Since nasa PBB siya, follower niya ako tuwing uwi ko galing work Manila. Siya yung, yung TV na sa PBB ang pinapanood ko. Kaya napanood ko yung si Sir nung nandun siya sa PBB house. I did not know that! Yaya Moreland is a PBB fan and a fan of Slater. Wow. He, she probably watched more episodes than me because I only saw like what Slater showed me. That's so cool. She never said that. Baby, okay ra. What? Di kayo. Yeah, that's so true. So a lot of people, the question was, is it hard to clean the sky pot? And she said, um, no, because it's not too big. It's true. I think on photos, it looks really big, but it's really not. It's very small and very quaint. And I'm sure they've been to a lot of other places and a lot of other houses and it's really small it's really quaint like yaya jera keeps telling me nga na ma'am if you have one more kid where are you gonna put the kid i'm like share the room ni scott and then jera's like ha di ba na nila pwede mag share kailangan magpalit ang yuta sa pikas kay para mas dako yung balay like they think our house is too small they think it's like so it's really not like once i mean coming from yaya marlena you know it's really not it's a very parang it's not tiny, but it's like it fits our family, talaga. Para na ako way hustle, <laughs> majud na way hustle kanang kanang majud di ka ka kwanan yung a suguon ka kung kaya niya siya mo buhat. Wag kung siya di siya mo ingon niya. Oo, ikaw mo buhat na kay ikaw kwan ka na. Nula ra pero tabangan ni Jod kanang ikaw na lay maulaw nila kasi. I'm laughing because yaya Jarrah's crying. In fact, when I first asked her, Jer. Can you do a Q&A for my channel? She said, Mom, dali mo kay ko buhilak. <laughs> she already anticipated na she would cry and she's crying now. It's so cute. I'm happy that they see that because I really do feel like we're equals. I mean, she's a person just as much as I'm a person and why will I ask her to do something if I can do it myself, you know? Like when that's what I told them, like I respect you and you respect me. This is you're signing up for this job. Like for example, Yaya Marlin, you're signing up to be the, a cleaner and the person who does our laundry. That's it. So I'm not gonna wake you up at 2 a.m. just because I want a snack. I'm not gonna say like, I'm lazy to get water. Can you get it for me? Like, I'm never gonna say that because I can get up and get water by myself. I don't know. I'm not saying that that's wrong if you're the type of person who does that. I'm just saying that that's not me. So I'm really, I'm, I'm happy. Like these are things that I don't even think about. And they think about so, wow! It makes me feel really nice. Like I'm, I'm really happy. Tanan, para ganing masoko sila, di mangani jun mga saba pa ayo. Nakabasa gaho ng Hermes na display ni Mam na plato. Eh Hermes magkano yun? Nagi istoryahan ako niya. Tapos wala lang ako uban o iba pa yon. Ganon na. Kaya. That's what I was saying about the Hermes plate. Oh my God, they brought it up. No, it's funny how I talk to her. I'm like, she's like, Mom, nakasalajan ko, nabasag na ko ang ibog plato. Ha? Ano man lin? Alak ka, oi, kasayang kipo ka. Dilipi ako yung kapalit ana kay mahal kina. Di mako kap afford ana. Amo biyang anti kapalit ana niya. Giri galu niya sa among pasal sus buanga oi kina. Sus buanga giyud kasayang ana lin. Ano na ko an man lin? Maghina ita sunod lin. Mogi na exactly ako ngayon. And then I told Slater, because you know I'm so awkward, I can't ever confront them. That's the max. So I told Slater, like, love, Marlene booked her mess plate. I don't know what we're gonna do. He's like, what do you wanna do? I'm like, nothing, but I just feel bad. So Slater said the exact same thing to her, and then that's it. We called it the day. That was it. So, but then, you know, she cried after. I guess she felt bad. I mean, I didn't cry. Slater didn't cry. And we were talking with Slater pa nga na. You know, yeah, it's sayang, it's so expensive. But at the end of the day, is there anything that changed in our lives? Wala eh. Nothing changed. Our lives are exactly the same. I can still eat three meals a day. My kid is healthy. I'm healthy. I can still sleep. I can still function. We have water. Like, nothing changed. So yeah, it's a sad thing, but it doesn't warrant a reaction that's like out of 10. It only warrants a reaction like, for me, like two, three. Ganun lang. So <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very... I'm very shocked that uh, this is her reaction of parang. I thought she, I don't know. I'm very awkward. Like I feel like I feel like the way we say things can really affect a person. So I'm so sensitive in that way. Like I don't wanna. I'm non-confrontational because I'm really scared that the person I say things to will get offended. So I was 
already worried at that point that I had I had offended her. Um, but I'm glad that she wasn't, and I'm glad that she feels this way. Like, yeah. Wala pa ako try nga kanang nakasako nga kanang gikasaban ko or gisultian ko mura. Si si Sir Chaka si Mam kasi pag may malik kami lahat dinadaan sa meeting parang purong mm. tanan para malaman kung ano yung mali ng bawat isa ganun yung ginagawa nila sa amin pag may mali kami ng gawa hindi katulad ng iba na ako nagka, nagkamali ako ako yung ipipin point na ikaw 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 ganun 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 sila yun that's so funny because actually Yaya Marlin got in a squaffle <laughs> with the other kasambahays namin dito sa bahay. Kasi syempre, six sila. So, impossible yung hindi talaga mag-aaway. Meron talaga yun. You're being put in a house with people who are raised differently from you. Kung couple nga mag-aaway, di ba? What siblings ka mag-aaway. What more if you're all different values raised differently from different parts of the Philippines and then you're put together in one household. So, syempre, normal yun. Basta she got into a, a squaffle with one of them. And I really can't deal. I really... Oh my god, I really can't deal. So I told Slater to like handle it for me. And Slater's style is very negotiante, very like HR. So, okay, everybody come here. We all sat in the dining table and then we asked, well, he asked them, I was just there. He asked them, like, what's wrong? What happened? Like, okay, what's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your response? Parang open forum. We gave each one room to kind of voice out their own opinions. And I think that also helps because it gave them value. It's not like, I'm the amo. I decide who's right, who's wrong. No, it's like um, you all have a right to feel sad, to feel angry, and you have a right to express your opinion. And then we're just here to kind of give our own opinion on what we see as an outsider, who's right or wrong. Ganun lang. And then we just try to encourage them to find solutions towards it, try to, you know, not fight. At the end of the day, we remind them that, hey, you know, it's so stressful to fight with people, especially when you're living in the same house. So maybe it's something so small you can let go, or maybe this is what we can do to move forward in the future. Now that I have my own household and I'm managing my own household, it's really normal. Impossible hindi mag-aaway kasi and daming personalities, diba? So just try to adjust with them, try to give them, you know, how you, how you would advise your own friend or your own family member, ganun lang. And hopefully they'll figure it out. <laughs> They're older than me. They're much more wise than me. So hopefully, we just kind of try to guide them in the right direction and kind of try to put things into perspective because we're looking at it from the outside. Ganun lang. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw mas dito sa loob eh. Ako doon ako lagi sa loob mas eh. Wala. Kabantay nila nga mag-away sila. Or like, nabay mata sa break. Slide lang argument. Hindi naman yan sila nagpaparinig na nag-argue sila. Oo, oh, wala. Wala. As in, tahimik. Istorya lang sila. Na sila yung mga kuwan. Mm. Istorya lang. Pero wala ako. Kanang di man mabalaan nga. Nagkakuwan na dahil sila. Kay, wala rin mo rin. Oo, wala lang. Mas maingay pa nga kami. <laughs> You know, it's funny. Slater and I fight, but super rarely. But it's, I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say that we never fight. We do, but rarely lang. And when we do, Shempre, we're not gonna do it in front of them. We're not gonna do it in front of Scott. We like to keep things private. And since it's very rare naman, I think in the Skypod, siguro mga twice, thrice, four times pa lang kami nag since we moved here. That's two years. And usually we fight in the bedroom, but no one can hear us. Oh, some, Slater has a very loud voice, even if he's not angry. Every time he is frustrated with me or if he wants to tell me something and his voice is so loud, I always bring him to the room and like close the door because there are other people in this house and we don't want to be nega. So let them be peaceful. If you want to fight with me, let's fight na tayo dalawa lang. That's how I am. <laughs> no, na <no>, nakakahiya. <laughs> Gaya nito ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the first time, I think it was a Mother's Day special, the tribute vlog. I'm gonna link it up here. But I asked everyone, oh, can you just do a bit of acting for me? I'm trying to produce this video. And Yaya Marlon was the only one who said, Mom, I don't know, don't include me in your vlog. I'm shy, I'm shy. And then when she saw that everybody else did it, she's like, okay, okay, I wanna be part. So it's so cute. Yaya Jara, I think her, her ulao comes from the fact that she has a lot of co-midwives and co-nurses and co-like her teachers and her friends that watch 
my channel and they message her like when are you gonna be on because i'm so excited to watch it so um, i think that's where her ulao is coming from she also went home a few months ago to be with her family i think she spent two weeks there she had a lot of people down in negros ask for her photo so i keep making fun of her Uy, Jess, sikat taka. oh you be part of my video you're so famous now a lot of people are viewing your i know so when i had this q a there were about like what 70,000 questions. Guys, I had to sort through that much questions because everybody is so curious about Yaya Jera and Yaya Doreen and Yaya Marlin. And so I told her, like, Jera, 70,000 ang question. And she's like, oh my god, I'm so pressured. <laughs> Yung nag tao the Christmas tree. Onya, katong Mother's Day. Ako kay koan, katong pag uli na kug ni Gross. Ay, daghan yung mga friends na ko sa Facebook nga. Kanang mga message ba nga. We die ka nang ikaw di ay ang nagyaya, ikaw di ang ko anana na daghan kay mga pangutan na ikaw ni ka nang mo send og screenshot nga ikaw ni Diamond. Kauli man ko kaisa ka nang nay ko an. Hoy, ikaw ang yaya ni Scott ni ka nang pagunita ko ka nang hulo no sa ro. Ulo kayo kay ro. Na apil ako ari sa artist. Pero na ako kay na siya sa kuan, sa daddy ni mom. Daddy ni mom. Daka ni Ingan nga kuan, liwa siya ni sir. Pero para na ako kay marag na siya sa ang iyang naong kay daddy ni mom. Pwede pa man yun mag-change. Pero sa ngayon, para siyang sa daddy talaga ni mom. Lalo na pag, kasi mangot siya naman. He looks like my dad when my dad is pissed. Erwin Scott's pissed. That's so funny. And actually, I knew this answer already because Yaya Jera told me a few days ago na kailan do ilalabas yung video and then that she always teases Yaya Marlin daw na ala, masuko gito si sir ni mo. Kaya niingon ka nga, parihag na si Scotty kung nakasimangot. Hala ka te. Yan ang binuangat. So I knew already that this was gonna come out. Makulit. <laughs> Bugo yun. <laughs> siya talaga. Dami siyang words na yung gag sasabihin mo, tas pakinggan niya mabuti, tas gagayahin niya yun. Kaya makulit. Dali ka siyang makat-on ka ng sultian mo siya. Skati say, langaw. Masuhid na siya, langaw. <laughs> Kanang kuan ball, iha kay bo. Kanang tanan ni mo isulti yan ang siyang suhiga yeah. ron. Sexy. Huh? Sexy. <laughs> It's so funny because I keep telling Slater that he must be stuck with his cat because he does like oh my gosh, and dami niyang words na masshock na lang ako that he knows like he'll say tiki tiki. I'm so happy to hear them say that because I can already see from their answers na mahal talaga nila si Scott. Like it's not just work for them, which is what I feel changes everything. Like you know, if it's just work for you, you'll just operate. At like this level of efficiency, but if mahal mo talaga yung tao or mahal mo talaga yung ginagawa mo, you'll go above and beyond. And I, I know in my heart na that's how they feel about Scott. Tako siya lang buduy, funny kay siya kanang gusto siya kanang ikaw mo katawa ka kanang magita siya gwing ng makakatawa ka sa yung buhaton yung kanang wise kay siya ng pagkabata. Meron pa yan na umaga subuan kay. Ah, it's time to watch your face. Say it, Musa. Can you thank you? Ah, say it, Musa. Thank you. That's it. That's true. What Yaya Jara says. Scott's really bugoy, like sipat. I don't know how you say it. And mischievous. He's a little bit mischievous in the sense that he likes it when he gets a reaction from you. So if you fall down, or if he gives you something and then you laugh, or you trip, or you just make an expression that he's not used to, or you don't do every day, then he laughs so much. So that's why it seems like he's mischievous, because let's say if he tickles you, he posts you, and you say, ow! It's not something that he hears all the time, and so it's amusing to him that you know he's getting a reaction from you that nobody else is getting from you. You know what I mean? Like Slater's never gonna punch me, so I'm never gonna say ow. Oh. And if Scotty punches me and I say ow, oh, he's like, oh, only I can do that. So he likes it. And with Yaya Marlin, every morning when Scott has breakfast, Yaya Marlin is mopping the living area. He always offers his breakfast to Yaya Marlin, which I think is so sweet of him. And so when he offers like, ah, that's how he gives like, let's say a piece of pancake to Yaya Marlin. And if Yaya Marlin accepts, she says thank you and Scott loves it. And if she says no thank you, Scott gets mad. Like, you can't say no to him. He's a very strict child. Sa iyang family, Bob, sa ilang pag-welcome na ko ka ng maayo kayo. So, 
kuan kay ko kanang happy kay kong nag kuan niya kanang nag atiman so na happy masaya so, kasi kung iba pa sila si sir tsaka si ma'am dapat sayaya lang talaga ipapakarga ang baby <laughs> nako nakakarga namin eh Dari, pati, kami lahat nakakarga namin okay mm. okay wala wala so, wala wala silang pili na pwedeng masaya. magbuhat kay Scott si, si Scott at then, in, at talaga to, kami lahat dadto na mo sa among mm. room Okay, okay lang, lang sa kanila. Lang, Basta happy lang si Scott, dili lang siya mag- Okay na, gini lang ma'am. Wala na dito sila yun nga. Ngayon, gudala na ni Mudira. Hmm, Dapat gini lang na. Hindi sila katulad ng iba na arte na, huwag dyan, maali ka buhok, madumi. Huwag dyan. Sila, wala. As in, karga mo talaga, makakarga mo. <laughs> Isn't that normal? Like, to me, Scotty's happiness and his well-being is my number one priority. So, I actually really like it when they all want to carry Scott because it means mal nila si Scott. Like you wouldn't offer to carry a baby if you don't like the baby, de ba? So also, I'm not the Marte type na ayoko don kasi maalikabok because Slater is number. First of all, I don't know how to raise a kid, and you know I learn from people around me. And Slater is always telling me that when he was younger, he wasn't allowed in these places na dusty, my carpet ganyan. So now Slater's allergic to all forms of dust and. He's allergic to everything, and so he always made it a point that, you know, Scott will learn to get down and dirty. He will walk barefoot in the grass. That's fine. That's totally normal. They're not gonna die. You know what I mean? That's what we've been doing, and so far, I think it's been really healthy for Scott because he's not my art at all. He doesn't cry when he touches sand. He doesn't cry when he touches grass. Like, he's chill. he's a super chill baby, and I think it's because you know we don't bawal him from a lot of things. Ila ko lang ang mga kargayan pero. Masaya, masaya pag nakarga mo siya. Happy kayo, labi na kami lang doha, anli paak, anli gitik. Anli, loob ko na ko. Okay na sa siyo, katawa. Kaya kami man, friend may magkuyog, na ako may magpatug, ako may magtapal. So, pangitaon ko niya, pangita mong gawas ako sa room. Siya gitahin siya. Ra, 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 ra. Gusto ka siya mga adventure, bita ka ng sa ihang mga nasabisa gawas, gunito ka ng... Gamit sa boy, ka ng mga martilyo, kung sa dira, okay, gunit siya niya. Ka ng map, vacuum, mga na yung mga paborito. Tulad niya, map. That's true, that's his favorite pastime. Like, he sees so many people around him doing so many different things. To him, it's all toys. So when our houseboy, Harold, is like sweeping the floor with a walis ting-ting, silig tukog, mo ba na, walis ting-ting? Basta silig tukog in Visaya. Ah, gusto sa siya, magsilig-silig dito. Kita siya hose, like Harold is hosing the lawn. Then he'll get the hose and he'll hose. And what's cool about Yaya Dara that I really appreciate also is she isn't also so restricting. So when Scott wants to play with a hose and she sees that Slater and I are okay with it, in fact, gusto namin that he experiences all these things, she doesn't mind that she plays with the host with him and then she gets wet. Parang okay lang din sa kanya. She enjoys it when he's enjoying, which is something so rare and I'm, I'm very, very blessed to have her also. Yaya Marlin, I'm, I, and all of them actually, I'm just really thankful that they love Scott like their own kid also and they care about him. Sana. <laughs> Sana, di ba? Ako, oo. Pero naman ko ko'y kinhanglan pa na ko pud ko anon para sa ako ang kaugalingon so yun na nagpabilin pa ko kaya wala pa man ang board exam so nagpabilin pa ko diri so hopefully kung makartake ang board exam kung gusto pa ko mabalik kung welcome pa ko nila okay kay kanang si Scott kanang siya ang bata nga di ka po ibantayan kanang wala happy lang murag murag imuha bitaw <laughs> oh that means so much to me actually like I'm dreading the day that Yaya Jara will I'm, I'm, I'm crying <laughs> I'm dreading the day that Yaya Jera will leave us because she's really such a blessing to us, to me. I feel I feel her love towards Scotty. And as a mom, it is really beautiful to watch someone else to love him so much. It's not even his family, you know. And I can see it in, in her actions towards him and how, you know, he does this. And then she's like, <laughs> look at him, look at him. Like, sobrang proud niya to see Scott do random things that people would be bored to even see, you know. And I really hope na she'll stay with us. I mean, I totally understand, and I told you this from the beginning, I totally understand that you have your own life goals and you want to, you know, work abroad and you want to be a midwife and be certified and that's totally fine and I will support you. But for as long as you want to work here, you're definitely welcome. She's kind of sad about the board exam, but I'm secretly happy because she's still here with us. And I really hope that she'll come back to my family because I, I want to have a lot of kids. So I want her to be with all my kids, you know?
<laughs> and yeah, Marlin, like I'm, I'm very happy that she said Sana. She can stay here for a long time because I trust her with all of the things around the house, and you know, she, she's really part of the family now. All of them are, and Champre it warms your heart to know that they're happy in the job that they're doing. You know, they're not gonna leave you at any time. I've been talking to a lot of moms and titas, and they always say na, "Hala, mo uli, bas hindi na na mubalik ha." So whenever they ask me to go home, I'm like, "Mubalik pa ka." And they're always like, no, I'm going to go promise you. And, and now I'm happy. I mean, I hope this isn't a lie. <laughs> I hope she's really happy. And, and I'm, obviously, I will be so, so happy if they stay. I really will. Dili. Man, Juan. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Try din namin na magsalita kami ng English kay Scott. Wala silang, hindi sila katulad ng iba na, oh, you speak ganito, you speak ganyan. Slater says na he has encountered so many people in his college that were bullied because they couldn't speak Bisaya. So he wants Scotty to speak Bisaya well. I'm all for a multilingual baby, guys. In fact, I'm learning French right now on my own volition. I'm relearning it. So I would love to be able to teach Scott different languages. So far, I can only speak Tagalog, Bisaya, and English, a little French, and a very little Chinese. So I would like Scotty to know all of these languages. Shemper, when his brain is still small, I mean, not brain is still small, when he's still small, they they say you expose him to as much languages as you can because they pick it up faster. So my mother-in-law speaks Chinese to him, my mom speaks Chinese to him. He learns Bisaya from all of us here at home. We try to speak English. In fact, I have to keep constantly reminding myself to speak English more because we speak Bisaya more here in the house. And um, Tagalog, he'll learn in school. And French maybe, hopefully in the future, I can teach him. I mean, multilingual is always a good option. Why not? Yung pag nakikita niya ako, sasabihin niya ako ng <laughs> Kasi niloloko ko yan siya na, Scotty, Scotty. Tapos yun, natatak na niya na pag nakikita niya ako, siya siya, <laughs> gano'n, gano'n niya, hindi niya binabanggit yung pangalan ko, pero <laughs> nabawakan siya sa akin. <laughs> Magpatawag ko niya kay, magpapretend ko nga, nakatawag na ko, kay makabalogan niya siya nga, nagmatap akong lihok kay ko, Mukha na siya, matintog na siya, magduwa na siya, di na siya matug. <laughs> Muna yung style niya. Pwetan kung ako siyang guk dun. Pwetan, tintog na siya niya. Ako siyang kuwaon niya, kakita siya nga. Kaya nang padung na ko, muna, katawa din siya. Scotty is really bubuy. He really is. This morning, Yaya Jara told me what Scotty did so that she'd wake up. He got a stow and like put it here on her nose and mouth and like did with his stow <laughs> to her nose and mouth. <laughs> Buto na lang cute ka talaga, Scott. Baka! Sabaw! Sabaw! Baka, basta baka. Ano na siya tayo? Eh, ang favorite na dessert. Maski yung unsang fruits, basta fruits. Scotty does have times na hindi niya feel yung food. But if it's kiting, my mom makes... Kiting is like a part of the beef. I'm not sure because I don't eat meat. But my mom makes beef kiting soup and Scotty loves it. Like if that's what he's having, he will eat it in like five... Not five seconds. Maybe mga five minutes. Maubos na, na yung whole food niya. And then he'll ask for more. For example, I'm gonna have dinner with my in-laws. That's what we're gonna bring to make sure that he doesn't... He isn't fussy. He likes the food he's eating and stuff like that. Fruits also are a go-to. Like every time he doesn't like the food, we mix fruit in it. Like he'll sometimes have chicken with mango, you know? Strawberry and broccoli. He, I don't know. It works. He eats it and it's good for him. It has fiber. It has vitamins. So why not? Sa iyong pagkasiya. <laughs> Cute kayo. Baka maski mawala na kang pila ka days para ito pagulit na ko. Kuhan kayo ka ng mingaw, ka ng mm. pagitaon. So hindi mo siya ba nga. Karoon na naroon na tayo, mauna niyong gibuhat. <laughs> don't leave! Please, don't leave! I want her to stay. Um, yeah, I, I remember when Yaya Jara went home to Negros, she and I would text often, and I'd always ask her, like, hey, how are you? How are you doing there? And then she'd reply, like, I miss Scotty. I miss Scotty so much. And then I'd send her Scotty photos, like, oh, you know, he, sh he can eat by himself now, or this is what he's doing now. And that's really when I, um, Realize na grabe talaga yung mahal niya kay Scotty. Kasi it's not like, oh, I'm so sick of this job. I'm gonna go home and it's vacation. I'm not gonna think about my job. Like, no, she genuinely loves and misses my baby. So please, Yaya Jera, don't go home na lang. Stay with us forever. We'd love to keep you as part of our family. Like, if you wanna stay with us forever until I'm 
80, 90 years old, like, please. <laughs> and same with the I.M. Marlin. People always say it's so hard to find good, good help and good people to help you around the house. And maybe I'm just lucky because I really love this batch. My mom and my sister, they always say this batch, this batch, because they always leave. I mean, they have their own lives. But I hope that this is the batch that's going to last forever because we're very peaceful and we're very happy here. Go on, I go. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> love <laughs> Jera told me that in her former employer, um, they wanted to instill the value of being tough to their kids. I'm not sure if this is correct, so take it with a grain of salt. But something along the lines of, if their kids would fight over a toy, they wouldn't say like, hey, share the toy. Because they want each of the kids to assert themselves. Because like, you know, it's in the real world, no one's gonna share with you, really. Like, it's rare for people to share with you. So you better learn how to take what you want or something like that but i told her like oh i just want him to grow up to be a kind person at the end of the day that's all i can really ever ask for even if he's not successful even if he's not you know handsome or smart or whatever at least he's kind and if you're i don't know i would always want to be with a kind person so that's what i always ask of her and so i'm, I'm happy that she has the same vision for scotty and yaya marlon as well Sila magbago. <laughs> ano yung pakikitungon nila sa amin. Sana wag magbago. Thank you, Mom and Sir. Kay... Ay, hili! <laughs> <laughs> Maulagi na kong hili. Kaya so cute. Mita, kaya nang kuhaan kayo. Thankful kay ko nila nga. Nahimuna ko silang amo. Mura. Mura na, mura na luwa. Mura kaya. <laughs> I'm feeling really good right now. I'm, I'm happy that what we talked about with Slater before we had our own house help, we wanted to be part of our family. I'm, I'm so happy that we were able to do it and they feel this way and I swear to God, I didn't pay them to say any of these things. But I really love them so much. They really are a part of my family. I have, I have no words. I'm so thankful also to you guys because you guys, uh, gosh, you are so interested in them, you guys. Because of you guys and because of your request. You know, they were able to have a platform like this to kind of experience something new and, you know, something to talk about to their friends and to their family. Like, hey, I'm on YouTube. In fact, they keep asking me, Mom, lalabas mo sa YouTube? Sa YouTube talaga? Sabi ko, oh, pati sa Facebook. And then they're like super, like, super happy about it. Sometimes they tell me that at night, I think our household is asleep by like 8 p.m. So 8 p.m., until like 6 a.m. they're at their own free time and they tell me that they sometimes stalk my Instagram and my YouTube and so I think they'll be very excited to see this video. I mean at this point it's a rea it's reaction already so last week nakita na nila to so <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy for them and I'm very happy to do this video and thank you guys so much for inspiring us to make this content and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any other suggestions for our little Sky fam, then please do leave a comment down below because we would love to film more videos for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one. Bye!